Welcome back to my garage. I haven't touch, done anything on the on the sleeve yet, but uh, the cylinder needs a little bit of work here to prepare for later. As you can see, there's uh, some stuff missing here that broke off when uh, when I had a little accident. And what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to skip the the read stuff and just go with the regular simple uh, single piston port intake but the problem with that is that uh, my intake tract is shaped a little bit weird as you can see this is where the reed valve used to be so now my, my channel intake channel it's well it just has the wrong shape for the port I'm going to have so I figure I should fill it up and then because I'm going to be JB welding it, of course, uh, it's going to need to harden and I want it to be hardened by the time I'm ready to start working on that. So I'm um, just doing this in, in preparation for uh, this weekend probably, it should be a pretty quick job. So uh, what my plan is, so I'm, I'm going to mill this area away from something like around there to there I'm going to lower that about 10 millimeters or something and then uh, JB weld in a, a new piece of aluminium so I have some fresh material to, to port with or to port in otherwise I would be ending up having a huge blob of JB weld inside there to give the, the channel the correct um, a nice flowing shape and I don't I trust it but I don't trust it that much <laughs> and it's going to take forever to it, it's going to need a lot of filling otherwise so the intake port it's going to be about five millimeters below the end of the cylinder here so it's going to uh, I this is my old spacer the new spacer will be different but I'm oh, sorry you could see that here is my old spacer it was on like like this and this is much too wide for the for the piston because the skirt is uh, it's not wide enough it will hit the bottom there so I'm going to do, make a new spacer yeah that, that's how I'm going to have an intake port that is actually below the bottom of the cylinder this material will, will all be be gone there will be a hole there so I'm going to the, the new piece that I'm going to put in is going to end like here or somewhere uh, as long as it doesn't go into the actual bore because I this is bore to size for the for the sleeve already so I don't want to touch that anymore if I don't really have to at least so yeah I'm just going to remove this piece in the mill and then make a new piece that I can uh, glue in and then that's gonna be it for for today so let me start out by removing the material and uh, I'll take you with me for that so I'm gonna be using one of these uh, roughing end mills to get a shitty finish on uh, on purpose because uh, JB Weld it doesn't like smooth surfaces and this doesn't leave a smooth surface So that sucked, uh, I'm not sure what happened really, but uh, these things, they, uh, they let go, so uh, I guess uh, I'm uh, going with plan B now. So I, I already prepared a bit right after the previous thing happened, I didn't film it because I, I was a bit I wasn't really in the mood for filming, let me put it that way. So I glued this uh, round intake pipe or whatever you want to call it back in. 
So now the idea, I guess it's not the end of the world because now I can just machine this down, put a new plate in here, like, like so. And the end result will probably be the same, except with a little more work. So let's give this another try. Using a smaller end mill this time, and we'll see if that works better. Here we go. So that went better, luckily. I don't know if you can see here, but it, the little uh, roughing end mill, it's leaving uh, lines here. So that should really give the JB Weld something to grab onto. So now I'm going to make a little filler thingy uh, out of some 20 millimeter aluminium uh, flat bar or whatever it's called. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to give it a little bit of a tapered shape. So there's uh, less to material to remove later on in the lathe when I'm uh, decking, I guess you call it, the, the cylinder. So I'm done preparing for putting the new block in. This is, this is what it uh, turned out like. And uh, this is where it's gonna go in, like, like that. So, when I got this in, I will have plenty of material. For the, for the uh, proper intake tract. So yeah, let's mix some JB Weld and get it in place. Going to apply it on the cylinder here. I should really get a TIG welder, then I could have done this properly. But don't have one. The cylinder is going up in the in the lathe later when it's all hardened and stuff. So it doesn't matter that it's uh, sticking out a little bit here. Well, maybe I should put the clamp on here, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to jab well the clamp onto the cylinder, of course. Like that, that's not going anywhere. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this to harden. Uh, it should be ready for the weekend when I'm uh, hopefully going to finish up the sleeve and press it in and continue porting. So thanks for watching again and see you next time. Bye.